Okay, so welcome back. So in this video, we're continuing from the last video. So if you haven't seen that, check out the link below. Um, so that way all of this makes sense. So the video is gonna cut in right in to the point of us uploading to the database. Now, if you wanna see exactly what we'll be working to accomplish. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We have uh, a way to post new pictures. So we just select new post. We then go to our photo gallery. We can select the photo. And once we hit share, we can go to look at our fire database. And as you see under the, this user ID, which, which is the user I'm signed in as, um, I have a post here and I have a post here. So basically just creating a bunch of posts for our user. And we're gonna use these, we're gonna end up grabbing all of these in order to display it in the feed. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right back into Xcode. Okay, so that's great. Now we can worry about storing this new post in our database. So we have all of our stuff here. And what we want to do now is just, let me just get rid of some of these. Sorry if my, it's a little in and out. Okay, let me just get rid of all this. So now what we want to do is we want to store this post into our database. So I'm gonna say let, the first thing we need to do is we need to get access to where we want to store it. We said that we're gonna put this in a folder called post. And in that post, let me go back to, okay, so we're gonna do a folder called post, the user's ID, we need a post ID, and then all of the information is gonna be stored in there. So let's go back. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created the database post reference or let's just say post reference. I think that would be easier. Post reference. So you don't get it confused with the database reference. So I created a post reference, which is going to follow that path of post under my ID, under a unique post for this specific post. And what I want to do is I want to update the database with this new post information. So dot update database with values new post. All right, so that should be it. So let's go ahead and see. Ah, it needs to be converted. So let's actually handle that because that's something we will probably have to do again. So let's go ahead and handle that in our class. So what I mean by that is I'm just gonna go into post and I just wanna return, have a function that's gonna return a dictionary. Return diction, uh, post as dictionary. And then we're just going to return this. And I 
just forget the colon here. Okay, so now that we have a way to return that as a dictionary, I'm just going to say dot return post as dictionary. And make sure there's nothing else. Okay, so let's see how that worked, if that worked. I'm gonna try to do a new post. I'm gonna to go to my gallery. I'm just gonna select a photo. I'm gonna hit share. Hopefully it shared it. We probably wanna put something on here. If it does share, Okay, so it did all the sharing stuff. And let's just hit cancel. And let's actually put something in here to cancel it after it does that. Okay, but let's go ahead and check out Firebase. Let's see if we have what we need. So as you see, we have this post folder, we have this post this user ID. So this is, I believe my user ID. So yeah, so this is my user ID. This is the post ID and here's the post information. Okay. So that looks like exactly what we need. So what we would be doing is taking, I'll do a couple more of these just to give it some, um, really cool, uh, effect. I don't want just my post popping up, but I'll populate this, uh, for the next video with some of my users posts as well as um, add some followings for me. So that way we can actually see all these pictures. Uh, I hope all of this was very helpful and um, yeah. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okay. So I'll see you all next video. Um, make sure you subscribe, maybe hit the notifications give me a message, let me know uh, what you guys like to see or if I can hopefully be of better use. All right, so as you see here, we have our post coming up. It's from this user, right? So this is a user's post and yeah, so if you guys have any questions, please comment below. And our next video will be actually populating our feed with these images. All right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.